guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 1 Homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. Alright, so again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding the problem itself. So let's see, we're using a place value chart and we're using arrows to represent how each digit changes. So A, we have 4.582 um, times 10. So first we're putting it on a place value chart. So on a place value chart, um, this would be ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. But then over here we have a dot. So this is our decimal point. So after the one place, the ones place, then we have the decimal point. And then to the right of that, then would be the tenths, the hundred, and the thousands. So it's like 0.582. So here we have 4.582, we're multiplying by 10. So that means we're doing, we're moving one place value to the left. Because every place value we move to the left, we're multiplying it by 10, pretty much. So then 4, we move it one to the left. The 5, we move it one to the left. The 8 to the left, and the 2. So that give us with, gives us with 45.82. So that would be our final answer. <clears throat> so let's try it with B. So let's label our place value chart. So we have our ones, tens, our hundreds, and our thousand. And after that, we have our tens, our hundreds your thousands so let's write our number so originally we have 7.281 and then times 100 so we're not moving only one but two places to the left so then that would be 7 2 8 one. So our answer will be 728.1. And C, um, let's label our place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And after our decimal point, we'll have our tenths, our hundred. thousands. So let's write our original number. We have 9.254 times 1,000. So we're moving one, two, three places to the left. And also we're moving three places to the left because one place will be times 10, two would be times 100, and three would be times 1,000. And also notice how like we're moving three places to the left, and that's also because 1,000 has three zeros in it. And like 100, we're moving two places to the left, and 100 also has two zeros in it. And then for A times 10, we move one place to the left, and 10 also had one zero in it. So there's a little pattern right there. So then times 1,000, Nine would go here, go nine, two, five, and four. So our answer is 9,254. All right, and D, explain how and why the value of the two changes in A, B, and C. Um, well, the two in each number it changes because it's multi being multiplied by powers of 10. So like every different um, power of 10 is being multiplied by like, like 10, 
hundred or thousand, like the bigger or smaller they are, then that is um then the two changes accordingly. So the two is it's being multiplied by powers of ten. So each time it changes accordingly. Like for the hundred, it was being multiplied by two zeros, so it moved two places to the left. The thousand, it was multiplied by three zeros, so it moved three places to the left. The ten, one zero, so it moved one place to the left. All right, next page. Um, use the place value chart and arrows to show how the value of each digit changes. The first one has been done for you. All right, so let's see. This time we're being we're doing division. So A, we have 2.46 divided by 10. So we're moving one place value to the right. So when it became 0 0.246. So let's try with 678 with 100. And let's just, let's just label it for them. Yep, tens, hundreds, and thousands. All right, so we have 678, so that's right. Oh, we have to label it too. And thousand. So we have 678. Divide by 100. So 100 has two zeros, so we're going two places to the right. So that becomes 6. Seven and eight. So that'd be 6.78. So your answer would be 6.78. Alright, and C, let's label our tape. I'm not tape, but I got our place value chart. Hundreds and thousands. So we have sixty-seven, six, ten, seven, ones, divided by one thousand. So one thousand has three zeros, so we're moving three places to the right. So So our answer is 0 0.0, oh, I forgot, 6, 7. All right, um, so now it says D, explain how and why the value of the 6 changed in the quotients um, in A, B, and C. Well, it's kind of like the same thing as the other page. It's being divided by, like, different powers of 10s, like, ten hundred and thousand so each time it will change accordingly depending on what number is being divided by so b six is being divided by powers of ten so each time it will change depending on what it's being divided by. All right, and next page. Um, number three, we 
researchers counted 8,912 mohawk butterflies on one branch of a tree at a site in Mexico. They estimated that the total number of butterflies at the site was 1,000 times as large. About how many butterflies were at the site in all? Explain your thinking and include a statement of the solution. All right, so we know there's 8,912 butterflies and they think that the total is actually a thousand times more. So that'd be times 1,000. Um, how many butterflies were at this at all? Explain your thinking and include a statement. All right, so let's just do the multiplication sentence here. So if we're doing 8,912 times 1,000, we don't need to draw out like a place value chart and do those arrows and everything again. So we know, what do we know about 1,000? 1,000 has one, two, three zeros. So then since we're multiplying that by 8,912, we can write 912 and we add those two, three zeros. So our answer would be 8,912,000. Wait, 8,912,000. All right, and it says um, include a statement. Um, the real number, or like the total, was. I multiply. by 1,000. So, and then, so there are about 8,912,000 butterflies. All right, and number four, a student used his place value chart to show a number. After the student instructed him to divide his number by 100, the chart showed 28.003. Draw a picture of what the place value chart looked like at first. All right, so after he divided by 100, the chart showed 28.003. Let's fill in our ones. No, we can start from here. Number. Tens, hundreds, and thousands. All right, so um, the teacher um, instructed him to divide by 100, and this is what happened. And now we're trying to figure out how much there was before. Um, all right, so what we can do, so since he divided by 100, we can go multiply it by 100 to see what it was so multiplying by 100 we're going right by two places i mean left by two places so that'd be two eight zero zero three um all right so our answer is 2800 and three, 0.3. So that is what it looked like originally. Draw a picture of the place value chart. Yes, yeah, so that's what it looked like originally. Now it says, explain how you decide what to draw on your place value chart. Be sure to include reasoning about how the value of each digit was affected by the division. All right, so since the student divided by 100 and got 28.003 we can multiply by 100 to get the original number and after every digit was divided it got smaller because 
after division each digit got smaller and move two places to the left. I mean to the right. Oh. That's what happened after the division. But then after multiplication, we moved it back to the um, left. And number five, on a map, the perimeter of a park is 0 0.251 meters. The actual perimeter of the park is 1,000 times as large. What is the actual perimeter of the park? Explain how you know using a place value chart. So let's do a place value chart. Thousands, hundreds, tens. All right, so I have ones. Thousands, no decimal point. Tenths, hundreds, and we have our thousand. So on a perimeter, um, so we can like, Make this a bit longer. So we can do it like that. Alright. Alright, so the perimeter of the park is 0 0.251 meters. The actual perimeter is a thousand times as large. So let's multiply it by a thousand. So 0, 2, one so we have 251 so that means that the actual perimeter of the park is 251 And we explain how we know using the place value chart because we drew the arrows to represent where each digit moved. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you next time. Bye!